Анастасия спрашивает. Здравствуйте, Ксения. Анастасия. Hello, Ксения and colleagues. Hello, Anastasia. Question. Building a family is not working for me. The moment I begin expressing feelings and care towards a man, the person instantly changes for the worse. Moreover, they are surprised by my behavior. In one of these moments, an image of a man appeared and said, you are our soldier. You are not allowed to love. You don't need anyone. Then someone hacked me from behind and the presence stayed with me throughout the entire day. I have never felt such a sense of love, protection and immense power before. The entity was about five meters tall with a bluish skin tone. Do I understand correctly that this was my kin? Why am I a soldier and what was this entity? It is a bloodline curse with a crown of celibacy? Anastasia, it is not exactly your kin. Perhaps if it is your kin, then not the human one. Meaning that it is possibly your family, but not a kin in the sense that we imply and use this word living here in this reality. These could be your gods, this could be your race that you derived, that you have originated from. The way that you saw them, I don't recommend that you right away perceive their image as the one and only possible. Because the human brain sometimes interprets something unknown in ways that is the closest to something suitable to it in terms of a meaning. That is to say that the mind manipulates an image to be able to place it somehow, to identify it more or less. This sort of things happen quite often. This happens to mages, this very much happens to witches, this happens to women as well as men. The forces that are behind them, they don't allow them to build a family, for different reasons. It could be that the force is jealous, that happens. It could be so that the person doesn't get distracted, because there is a task and having a family would make her weaker. Maybe so that nothing stands in the way of one's own mission. And it also could be due to all of these reasons put together. This is truly a very good protection. And perhaps that is what you should focus on instead of trying to counter it. In any case, one can always figure out some sort of compromise if you are in need of something from a biological standpoint. But there will be conditions, a set of conditions, and you will have to fulfill these conditions. So that bridegroom right which we talked about today, it involves lodging a spirit, lodging a demon, and so they do sometimes put forth such conditions as if not letting a woman bond with anyone else. But in that case it looks a little bit different, in that case, something necessarily happens with a partner. Somehow something happens to him that renders him useless. But over here, in your case, since you are shown the most heinous, the most ugly part of the human world, it is not about causing harm to your partner and shielding you from him, but rather showing you something so that you become convinced that there is no point in it for you that you will waste your time for nothing and receive much heartache and disappointment if you disregard the advice of your mentors. Let's call them mentors, that will be probably more correct for the moment. Try to establish a contact with them, especially since they are open to it. Try to get more information. Forewarned is forearmed, and someone who knows more makes less mistakes.